This is what I call harvest time. This cauliflower is ready to be harvested. So I think tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and cut this head off and then compost these leaves and everything back into the soil. Um, might just put that into another bucket uh, for composting and then we'll go ahead and replant. This lettuce is going to go to seed here. So we're gonna go ahead and take those seeds um, we're going to try out the leaves. We've been told when they get to this point that they're bitter. We're going to try them out anyways. I want to find out. Um, and then we're going to have to start doing some bracketing up. Look at that. Look at that. Strawberry on the bottom. Harvest time. And also over here. See, we have all this cement in the city. You can make use of it by, by using the five-gallon buckets. Or if you had too much water in your garden. If you have problems. Use the five gallon bucket, utilize your space. But as you can see, some of these peppers down here, some of these peppers are ready to be harvested. Now I'm not gonna step in the mud because it's gonna be too much. But as you can see, some of these babies are ready to go. Now, the peppers were not my plan. Look at that, just look at how beautiful that is. Uh, I like the red and green and orange and yellow pe bell peppers. Not really into the hot ones that much. Uh, it rained last night, so I have to go ahead and put stuff back on these to keep the cabbage worms from being able to do any more damage. But it did rain last night. Uh, look at that. It's gorgeous. So we're going to start harvesting some things here shortly. Got to get these things on trellises so they go vertically. That'll be next week here. And... I mean, look at that. Look at those peppers and the containers. They're just huge. A lot better than the ones in the garden. You know the ones in the garden are ready to go. So, yeah, see all this vegetation didn't die off of that vinegar and Epsom salt that I tried. Look at that. Another strawberry right there. Yep. So, they're putting out runners all over the place. Our tomatoes are ripening. Look at this. Tomatoes are ripening. Big time. So, starting to harvest some things. Besides, you know, solid things. Look at those potatoes. Just shooting up. This five-gallon bucket experiment was well worth it. I can utilize these things on the cement that I is in my way. And uh, have more crops. Look at how these beets are doing. Man, this is a great experiment. I'm so glad to have done it. So glad. Horseradish. Today I'm getting another container of, uh, a couple containers of soil. And I'm going to put a couple more buckets together because we need some more lettuce. And I have a slicing tomato from the grocery store that I want to start growing these plants from. So I got another one to show you about the sweet potatoes. That's another video, so stay tuned.